Training a machine learning system requires data, lots of it. While there are some standard corpuses, computer science researchers, startups, and big companies, and probably most of you, are increasingly hungry for new and different forms of data. The first problem is that all data is biased, most notably and recognizably by reflecting the biases of humans and the society in general. Take, for example, the popular ImageNet data set. Because humans categorize shape faster than they categorize by color, you end up with some really weird artifacts in that system. But things get even messier when you're starting to deal with social prejudices. When Latanya Sweeney searched for her name on Google, she was surprised to be given recommendations to see whether or not she had a criminal record. These were the ads that were given to her. As a curious computer scientist, she decided to throw in tons of names of both black names and white names in the United States to see what ads would pop up. Not surprisingly, the only ads that received criminal justice-related products were, named, were associated with black names. Now, this isn't because Google is knowingly categorizing people by names or even understanding much about the person who's doing the searching. What's happened is that Google has been trained systematically to associate black names with criminal justice products because of the clicks that people have. In other words, Google learned American prejudices and r American racism and amplified it back at all of its users. Now, addressing implicit and explicit cultural biases in data is going to be a huge challenge for everyone who's trying to build a system dependent on data classified by humans. But there's also a new challenge emerging. The same decentralized actors that I told you about, the, the individuals who are gaming for fun and profit, as well as state actors, the people who've been messing with social media and search engines, they are increasingly eyeing the data that various companies use to train and improve their systems. Consider, for example, the popular use of Twitter data or Reddit. These are open API systems, so people love to use these uh, to train their models, to understand natural language, to develop metadata about links, to track uh, social patterns. All sorts of people have trained models to detect depression, rank news, engage in conversation. Now, ignoring the fact that these data sets are not particularly representative, um, most engineers who believe that it's possible to actually clean the data and remove problematic content, I can promise you it is not. No amount of excluding certain subreddits, removing categories of tweets, or ignoring content with problematic words will prepare you for those who are hell-bent on messing with your systems. I'm watching countless actors trying to develop new strategic ways to purposefully mess with systems with an eye on messing with the training data that all of you use. They are trying to flow, fly below the radar. And if you don't have a structure in place for strategically grappling with how those with agenda might try to route around your best laid plans, you're vulnerable. This isn't about accidental or natural content. It's not even about culturally biased data. It's about strategically gamified content injected into systems by people who are trying to guess what you will do next. Now, if you want to grasp what this means and the implications of it, consider the experiment Nicholas Papernot and his colleagues published last year. In order to understand the vulnerabilities of computer vision algorithms, they decided to alter the images of stop signs so that humans still believed that they were stop signs, but the neural nets understood them as yield signs. Think about what that means for autonomous vehicles. Now think about that, what that means for a whole variety of technologies. Will the, your technologies be widely adopted if a classifier you're using can be manipulated so easily? Now right now, most successful data injection attacks on machine learning models are actually happening in the world of research. But more and more, we're seeing people try to mess with systems. And just because most of the mainstream attacks haven't been particularly successful yet, doesn't mean they aren't learning and evolving in their attempts.